This time they made it. After being denied entry to the country earlier this month, a delegation from ECOWAS has finally met with representative of Niger's junta in a bid to reverse the military coup. This round of diplomacy follows weeks of threats by the West African bloc to use military force to restore the democratically elected president, Mohamed Bazoum. He's currently been detained with his family at the presidential palace, facing prosecution for what the junta calls high treason. The ECOWAS delegation were able to meet him but remained tight-lipped about what was discussed. To be candid with you, I cannot tell you everything until I met with those that sent us here. Because whatever I tell you now, before I reach my hotel, it will become news everywhere. So I cannot tell you more than this, but we thank God we have been able to see him and start a discussion. This is an opener for us. Junta Chief Abdurrahman Tiani has promised a three-year transition period back to civilian rule. He says the details of that plan still need to be worked out. We will set about formulating concrete proposals within 30 days that define the governing principles Niger will follow during its transitional period, as well as a transitional period that will amount to three years. But elsewhere on the continent, Burkina Faso and Mali, both members of ECOWAS, have ramped up tensions. The two countries, both led by military juntas, have sent warplanes to Niger to bolster their defenses. ECOWAS says it's assembled a standby force which includes all members of the bloc, except Cape Verde and countries already ruled by the military. It's awaiting go orders. But Niger's coup leader said any military intervention in his country will not end well. And so we and the people of Niger do not want war, and we remain fully open to dialogue. But let us be crystal clear, if an attack were to be undertaken against us, it will not be the walk in the park that some people seem to think it will be. Niger has strategic importance for regional and global powers because of its uranium and oil reserves and role as a hub for foreign troops involved in the fight against the insurgents linked to al-Qaeda and Daesh. But inside the country, opinions about the coup are mixed, with many applauding the junta's unwillingness to bow to external pressure. Usman Ali Uba, TRT World.